Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you part 6 of Ubuntu. Ubuntu is the Scheepjes Crochet Along 2018 designed by Deidre Eyes from Look at What I Made. In part 6 of Ubuntu we're going to grow the triangles that we've made last week. So the triangle is up to here and so we're going to do these last stitches on each of our triangles. So you're going to have 6 identical triangles at the end of part 6. I'm using the large kit, so I have river washed and stone washed XL yarn that I'm using with a 5mm hook, the same hook as last week. If you have one of the other kits, you'll have different yarn and also a different hook size, so use the hook size that you've used up till now. I'll take you through the rounds that make up this part, but thank you for watching, I hope it's a useful video for you. Round 15 I have contrast color 5 on my hook with a slip knot, so just check your kit what exactly is contrast color 5 for you. We have the right side of our work facing, so the right side of the triangle. And we're going to start in the marked stitch, the stitches we marked at the um, end of last uh, of, of part 1, end of round 14. This marked stitch, actually the space, we're going to start there with a standing double treble. I'm going to yarn over twice, then hold on to this, to those loops, insert in this space, and complete the standing stitch. In the same space, work two trebles. One and two. To remove the stitch marker, I'm going to place it back between the first two stitches we worked. So in between those first two stitches. So the double treble and the first treble. Now leave it there because we're going to use it again in round 15. So for the moment leave it there. In the next stitch, the first stitch, this one here, work a treble. We're now going to start a small repeat unit chain 4. We're going to skip the next stitch, that's stitch 1, and then on stitch 3, 4, oh excuse me, let me say 2, 3 and 4, we're going to work a cluster stitch, that's a treble 3 together on those 3 stitches. To yarn over, so skip the first stitch, then on the next, through, pick up a loop, and take off two, yarn over, go to the next stitch, pick up a loop, take off two, again yarn over, go to the next stitch, pick up a loop, take off two, you have four loops on your hook, you have to take them all off in one go. This small unit, so starting at the chain 4 up to the cluster stitch here, skipping that one stitch, I'm going to do this 11 times in total. I've now done once with you, I'll do two or three more, and then I'll make a jump in the video. So, chain 4. Skip the next stitch, that's that one, and go to the stitch after and work a cluster stitch. And this is of course a treble three together worked over three stitches. So that was num repeat number two. At the end we're going to have 11 of these cluster stitches per row, per, per edge, let me say per edge of the triangle and if you find at the end you have 12 or 13 of these instead of 11, I most likely you'll have forgotten to skip those stitches in between. And it's important that you skip them because we're going to be working in them in the next round. 2, 3, 4 chain stitches again. Skip a stitch, so this one, and then work another cluster. Two, three, and take them off. I've 
I've now worked to repeat three times with you. I'm going to make a jump in the video until I've done ten repeats and then I'll just show you repeat eleven and the corner. I'm almost to the corner. I've got the corner here marked with a stitch marker. I've done ten of these repeats. I'll show you repeat eleven. That's again chain four. I have to skip the next stitch. That's this one. And then work a last cluster stitch along this edge. And then you should have 11 of these clusters. To get to the corner, we do a chain 4. 2, 3, 4. Just turn my work a bit. You have two stitches left before the corner. You see that stitch and that stitch. I'm going to skip both of them and in the corner work a treble, change one, chain one and a treble. In that corner space, that's a treble, chain one and a treble. Let's move the stitch marker to the chain one here. Let me just hook it up there. You don't have to do this. I just like to do this to keep track of my corners. I'm going to come down and do the same as we've done on this side. Chain 4. Skipping the first two stitches, work a cluster stitch. So that means we're going to skip one, two stitches. So those two going to skip one, two, and then come to the third and start the cluster stitch. Two, three, and take them off. One, two, three, four chain, skip the next stitch, that one, and then work a cluster. One, two, and three, and take them all off. See, now you've got two of those clusters. We again want eleven of them. One, two, three, four, skipping one stitch, work a cluster. Two, three, and take them off. I'm going to make a jump in the video. I've done three of these. I'm going to jump until I have ten clusters. And I'll show you the last cluster here as well as this edge. I have ten of these cluster stitches. So starting here from the corner, I have ten of them. Chain four, skip the next stitch, that's this one, and then work cluster number eleven. Two and three, and take them all off. You have three stitches left, two full stitches and the chain here. I'm going to do a chain four, skip the next stitch, that's that one, and then go to this well, this last full stitch, work a treble on there. You see I've skipped one stitch and I work the treble, and here in the space between those two stitches, work two trebles, just two trebles, and a double treble. And cut your yarn at this point, pull through, and you can work away this yarn tail. Do not turn, so leave the right side facing because for the next round we're going to start back again at this side. Round 16, I have contrast color 1 here. So check in your kits which color that is for you. Going to attach your yarn with the slip stitch in the fourth 
stitch and you have the right side of your work facing. So here's the stitch mark we placed last round. I'm going to go to the fourth stitch. There's that one there. And attach with a slip stitch. We're going to work three trebles in this stitch that we skipped here, being sure to leave the chain space here to the back unworked. So I'm going to work a treble in that stitch and be sure to push the chain to the back. It's so one, two, and three. There we go. So three trebles. You can see that your chain space here to the back that that's left unworked. We're now going to do a chain two to skip this cluster and then work three trebles in the next skip stitch. And now we're going to repeat till we're to the corner. So chain two to skip this and then three trebles. Chain two and three trebles. So let me show you. Chain two. And then skipping this cluster here, go to that next available stitch and work three trebles in there. Two and three. And we repeat it again. Chain two and three trebles in that next stitch and push your chain to the back away that you don't accidentally work over that. Two and three. So I've now worked three of them. Continue with this. I'm going to make a jump in the video and then I'll see you here where we just go around the corner. So again, chain two, skip, work, uh, skip the cluster, work three trebles in there, chain two and three trebles and continue and I see you here. We are almost to the corner. You see here's the corner stitch that I marked. I'm going to do the repeat once more. Chain two. I'm going to skip this cluster here. You have two stitches left. And that one, the first one I'm going to work three trebles in. And then you've got a second one that's here kind of hidden by the corner. So in that first one there work three trebles. Two and three. Now we're going to do a chain four. Three, four. We're going to skip this stitch that's kind of hidden there. We're going to skip the corner stitches and we're going to skip the first stitch on the other side. So this one we're skipping and then we're going to go to the second stitch, that's that one, and work three trebles in there. So that's what we're going to do now. Just skip that stitch then go here and work three trebles. So one, two, and three. Going to come down and do the same on this side as we did here. That means chain two, then skip the cluster, and then this next stitch work three trebles. And as always, remember to keep your chain loop to the back so that you don't work over it. And again, chain two. And then come to the next stitch, skipping the cluster, come to the next stitch here and work three trebles. And two and three. Going to make a jump in the video because you're going to repeat this until you get to the point here. So it's chain two. 
and work three trebles. Chain two to skip the treble and cluster here and then work three trebles. Continue until you're here and then I'll just show you the last bit. We're almost to the end. See here's the end of the triangle. I'm going to work the repeat once more. Chain two. Skip this treble and you have one stitch left there. I'm going to work three trebles in there. So one, two, and three. Here you go, three trebles. Now to close this round, I'm going to close with a slip stitch in this first stitch here. So in that first stitch four I'm going to close with a slip stitch. See I still have the yarn from a previous round here. You can cut your yarn, open up and work away both of these yarn tails. You can also do this at the end of the part. That's also good. Next round we're going to use our main colour. Round 17 going to use the main color from your kit and we're going to attach in the space that has the stitch marker here so between those first two stitches we have the right side facing by the way and attach with a slip stitch. At this point you can remove the stitch marker because we don't need it anymore. You to start with a chain Five, two, three, four, five. And then in the same space, I'm just going to work over the main color yarn, a double treble, followed by two trebles. So one. On the first two stitches going to work a half treble and that first one is really covered there. See that's the second one, that's a stitch you can readily see but there's actually another one in there. I'm just going to push everything back just to really see that stitch, it's that one there, that stitch. See how it's just peeping out? That one. That's your first stitch, You're going to work a half treble and also on the next stitch work a half treble. There we go. We're now going to work a front post double crochet around this stitch, the next stitch, and that stitch already contains a slip stitch, but around the post we're going to work a front post double crochet. There we go. We're starting a repeat unit. Three. We're going to do a chain Four. We're going to skip these three trebles and then go to the next cluster stitch. It's a bit there to the back. If it helps you push this cluster forward through the chain two space, so push it forward. Then around this cluster, going to work a front post double crochet. And what that does is you're going to pinch that cluster. So make sure that your chain 2 space here is to the back. You want to work in front of the chain 2 space and then complete the front post double. And what you see what that does is that really brings this stitch forward. And this we're going to do on every cluster. We're going to work this front post double and there'll be chain 4s in between. Two. So again a chain 4 Skipping the um, three trebles, go to the cluster and around that stitch, you can see there, work a front post, a front post double. You can just kind of scoop that stitch up and then chain four and then go to the next cluster. 
and scoop that stitch. And what happens here is you're pushing all the spaces, these two, chain two spaces, you're pushing them to the back. I'm going to repeat this until we get to the chain corner space. Yeah, and I've got that marked there. I'm going to make a jump in the video. So you do a chain four and then work a front post double. Chain four, front post double. Chain four, front post double. I'll show you once more, then I'll see you here on this on this last second last cluster to work the last bit and go around the corner with you. So I'll show you once more. Chain four. Three, four, then go to the next stitch, push that forward if it helps you, that cluster, and around that cluster work a front post, double crochet. Send you like this and I'll see you at the corner. I'm almost to the corner, you see here's the marked corner stitch. We've got one more cluster there, I'm going to do a chain four to get to that cluster. Three, four, then go to the cluster and work a front post double around that. Again, chain four, two, three, four. Skipping this last group of three trebles, I'm going to push the corner here. I'm just going to push it forward through the chain four space. I'm going to leave that to the back because that's going to be easier. Then around the first treble, that treble, work a front post double crochet. Then in the chain space I'm going to work a double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet in that same space. That's your new corner, so I'm just going to move the stitch marker to the chain two position. That's going to be the new corner. I'm going to come down and work a front post double around the next stitch here. It's there, a front post double. Now going to come down and do the same around these clusters as we did coming up. So that's chain four. On the next cluster here, work that another front post double, pushing the chain two space here to the back. Again, chain four. Skipping the three trebles, go to the cluster and work a front post double around that. So again, you can see how you're pushing these clusters forward. Repeat to end, so until you're here. So we're going to do a chain four and work a front post double around the cluster, chain four to skip these stitches of front post double. Repeat this until you're here and then I'll just see you for the last bit. Almost to the end here, we see here's the end of the triangle. I have one more cluster on that one there. It's going to do a chain four, three, four, and then work a front post double around that last cluster. There we go. Chain four, three, four, and now we're going to move to the first of these stitches that are remaining here and around that first one work a front post double around that. It already contains a slip stitch there at the top, but that doesn't bother. So we're going to work a front post double crochet. Then on the next two stitches work a half treble. That's that stitch. One and a 
next one is 2. In the space between the last two stitches, work two trebles. I'm going to work a number of stitches in here. It's one, two trebles, a double treble. And a triple treble. One, two, three, four. There we go. Now you can rotate your work, so turn, or turn your work, that's actually a better word. You have the back side facing. It's going to work a slip stitch between those last two stitches worked. Round 18. I'm going to start with a chain four. Two, three, four, and then two trebles in the same space. And you now have the back side of your work facing. So this is the wrong side. On the first five stitches, going to work a half treble. That's the first stitch there. So that's one. Two, three, four, and five. The next stitch we're going to skip. That's the front post double there. You're going to skip that stitch and move on to the chain four space here in the main color. We're going to be working four half trebles in every chain four space from the main color. We're going to skip the um, loops from rounds 15 and 16, so only in these chain 4 loops from round 17. And work 4 half trebles in each. And you're going to do that until you get to the point of the triangle, until you get to the corner. You see there are 4 half trebles. So you move to the next space, that's that one. And in there work 4 half trebles, two, three, and this here is number four. Again, the next chain four space, go there and work four half trebles. So this you're going to repeat in all those chain four spaces, and there's quite a few of them, so work four half trebles in every space. I'm now going to make a jump in the video. And then you continue working all those chain four spaces, and I'll see you here when you've worked four half trebles in this last chain four space. And I'll just show you the corner and coming back down again. I've just worked four half trebles in all the chain four spaces, and I'm now here at the corner. You have two stitches before the chain two or the chain one corner space. On each of those work a half treble. So that's the first one there. It's one. And that second one is that one. And now onto the chain corner space. Work a new corner, that's a half treble, chain one, and a half treble. Going to move the stitch marker to the new corner position. There you go. On the next two stitches, work again a half treble. And this first one is easy, it's that stitch there. But that second stitch can be a little hard to get into. That stitch there, it's just before the chain space, it's also hard to see maybe. So that there. Is the next stitch. You still need to work in that. So that's two half trebles. You're onto the next chain space and you're going to work four half trebles in this chain four space and in every chain four space all the way down till you get to the end of this edge. So that's four half trebles. Move on to the next chain space 
in there also work for half travels. I'm going to make another jump in the video and then I'll see you when we're at the bottom of the triangle. You see now I've done two times four half trebles. Continue this, work in all these loops here to the back and I'll see you here when you've done four half trebles in this last, in that last chain space there, that one. I've just worked those last four half trebles in the last chain four space. I've worked four half trebles in every chain four space. For the end of this round, I'm going to skip the next stitch. That's uh, that one. I'm going to skip that stitch, then go to the next and work a half treble, and that's the first of five. That's one, two, three, four, and then number five here it falls on the last full stitch before the chain. In the chain space, I'm going to do the same as on this side. See the two trebles and the double treble, so we do the same here. So that's two trebles in that space. One, two trebles, and a double treble. And three. Turn your work and make a slip stitch between those last two stitches. Round 19, I'm going to start with a chain 5, 5, and then in this space we're going to work quite a number of stitches. A double treble, followed by two trebles, and a half treble. Mm. On the next 58 stitches, so on this entire edge, going to work a half treble on every stitch. I'm just going to move my stitches to the side because that there's the first stitch. And that's the first of 58. And that's going to bring you to the chain one corner space at the top of your triangle. So work a half treble on every stitch. Almost to the corner. One more, that last stitch there that I need to work. I have 58 half trebles. If you're in doubt, just count your stitches, then you know for sure if you've got them all. In the chain corner space, going to work a new corner that is a half treble chain one and a half treble. Half treble, chain one, and a half treble. I'm just going to move the stitch marker to the new position. Oh dear, I just broke my stitch marker. It's a pity. But I'll just hook this up here. And I know where that position is. I can glue this back together, don't worry. I just glue this back to the stitch marker and then everything's fine. What we're going to do now is come back down and work again a half treble on every stitch. So in the first one, that stitch, work the first half treble, and that's the first of 58. So that's one, this is two, and that will bring you almost to the end of this uh, this edge to work a half treble on every stitch. And the last half treble is here on that last stitch before the chain stitch. In the space between the last two stitches, work a half treble, two trebles. This is the same as on the other side, two trebles. A double treble, and a triple treble. OK, 
can now cut your yarn because you've finished. Open up and work away this yarn tail plus any other yarn tails that you might have. And when you've done that last round, this is what your work looks like. You've got the beautiful flower in this triangle. And you've got this nice edge that we made today and we finished with that edge of half trebles. You need to make not one of course but six of these triangles so everything we've done today so this edge and the half and the main colors stitches do this on your other five triangles also. When you've finished all six triangles you're ready for next week when we will start to join them up.